next up, I'm David Tampici, and in this video I answer the question, what if she's a daddy's girl? Welcome to Man Up episode 200. Masculinity for the intelligent man. I'm David Tien, PhD, and this is Man Up! Welcome to Man Up episode 200. I'm David Tien, PhD, and for the past 10 years I've been helping hundreds of thousands of people in over 87 countries attain success, happiness, and fulfillment in life and love. And again, this is episode 200. Um, this is a pretty big episode uh, for us, so woohoo! Um, I was going to film a much longer one, a much bigger one, but um, we've been very busy the past couple of weeks. Um, on many different countries and we're about to fly uh, across the world in a few hours so um, I knew we needed to get some video done quickly uh, because we wouldn't have a chance to do it for a little while so um, here we are filming this last minute again um, thank you so much for hanging in there and for the guys who've consumed 200 episodes of me I am honored and flattered and thank you all right so question here from the private man up Facebook group if you haven't joined that yet please do so it's for your own good <laughs> there are over 14,000 other members in there with some really great interaction all right question here from Corey I have a question David uh, I recently met a very cool lady I believe she is relationship material she is in her mid 40s is independent gainfully employed owns her own home all of those are pretty superficial things um, and seems emotionally intact intact it's like a really low bar for emotional maturity here, but okay. Well, I guess some people, a lot of guys in America are really lowering their standards just to, to get, you know, girls there. I mean, to, to, to get in a relationship with them. So, all right, I'll accept this from you, uh, Corey. One thing I have noticed is that she is a big time daddy's girl and he's wondering whether this is an issue. Details. Now she lives in Nevada and her dad lives in New York, so it's not like she sees him very often, but she talks about him all the time and openly adores him. Uh, it's almost as if she subconsciously compares any man in her life to her dad. I really don't see this as a problem, but something tells me there might be a red flag here. What is your take on this mindset? He really doesn't see this as a problem. Corey, uh, you still have a lot to learn about what it takes to, to be in a, a successful, lasting, uh, passionate relationship. Um, back in the old days, as in like your grandparents' generation, or depending on how old you are, Corey, in the 50s and 60s, um, people would just stay together just because they were together and it was just harder to get a divorce. It was harder, it was not as socially accepted um, and it was just maybe harder legally. As well, women weren't as upwardly mobile and um, they aren't as independent financially as they are now. Uh, so, but, but nowadays, everyone's just like, hey, you know, it's like breaking up, you know, it's just like just a little bit more paperwork. Um, but you, the men get fucked over a lot more. But anyway, the point is, uh, Corey, there's a lot that is required for a good long term relationship. The points that you raise are not really as relevant as you think they are. And the one point that you think is really not relevant is more relevant than all of the other points that you have raised. So, um, if she's a daddy's girl, it's pretty much so. There are different degrees of being a daddy's girl, but this is a really great time to point out. If you, even if you had a nice, healthy home and your parents stay together, and you know all that, the other, you know, check all the other boxes on what you, what the average person, what the, what the rest of the world thinks is going to make somebody not need to get therapy later on or counseling. And the check, 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 daddy really treated her well, and I'll check, check, check. They're they're going to get fucked up too. Either way, you're going to get fucked up. Now. Uh, I talked about this in terms of men with their mothers. So if you had a really great mom who was loving and adoring and relatively virtuous, uh, the dude is probably gonna end up being a nice guy, like a, a, a nice guy who has a, the nice guy neuroses um, that I pointed out in earlier videos. Uh, so he's going to put um, women on a pedestal because that's how he puts his mom. That's how he sees her mo his mom. Whereas dudes who have relatively slutty moms or who are un you know unvirtuous mothers, they see that part of their their mother figure. Um, they won't be tempted to put the pussy on the pedestal, so to speak, and they'll have a much more realistic view towards women. Of course, they'll have a, a, also probably a more warped view, but both cases are warped. Now we get to the daughters with their dads, and daughters who are spoiled by their dads will probably not ever really have a lost, lasting relationship and even worse, it's even worse than a girl who had, who grew up with a, a reality, um, with, with like the harshness of the adversity of, of a uh, average um, upper, uh, you know, upbringing. Um, because the one who was spoiled will, cons will constantly compare, as you have pointed out, as you feel subconsciously, you think that she subconsciously compares um, all men that she's with, with her treatment by her dad growing up and that is, that's just obvious. It's just a formative imprinting. Um, and she's going to subconsciously, unconsciously compare. Um, and even worse, whenever the men, whenever they, the men that she's with um, compare unfavorably, she won't think it's her fault or that she is, um, 
unfairly or unjustly comparing. She will think it's their problem. Why? Because there was no malice or evil or bad stuff that happened. It was just spoiling. And um, she's just going to expect that that will come to her naturally if she just finds the prince in shining armor. So if she continues to see herself as daddy has made her a princess, she will always fail in relationships because um, her dad, you know, when she was, it's easy to, to, to be a, um, a, a king or a prince to your princess when they're really young and their needs are relatively low level to meet. Um, as they become adults, you know, and, and, and then they have kids and all of the vagaries of life come in play, especially finances and other things like that. The nitty gritty of real life. Um, inevitably, there will be there will be conflicts. There will be well, the challenges is a better word. There will be challenges, and because she is looking pining for to recreate that dynamic from her childhood with men, um, even a little bit of adversity, depending on how much she was spoiled, will spoil her fantasy, and then she's going to blame the dude for for his failings when she's basically unfairly uh, judging them all, and she won't even figure this out until she's in her forties, as you've. Oh my God, she's in her 40s, dude. I just realized that. So like, I mean, you pointed that out, but how long has she been doing this? All right, so if she's single in her 40s, how long has she been doing this? <laughs> so this is the fate of women. I mean, the thing is like, you know, I know a lot of Western men have been having to settle for, for like to find a mature woman in the West. And you know, listen to my accent. You know, I'm from freaking North America, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, so I'm not like, just out here in Asia on my own. But dude, how long have, have men in the West been putting up with this shit so that to, to find a mature woman, mature woman emotionally, they have to get in, women in their late 30s and 40s. And even now, this woman has still not learned her lesson. Um, I, I mean, based on the things that you've told me, if that's accurate, if the information you're giving is accurate. But this is common. I've seen this before. I, you know, I've, and I've seen this uh, in case studies. I've read a lot about this in case studies in psych clinical psychology. Um, and she's going to mess up her children as well, get a divorce, go back out and look for her knight in shining armor, her prince. Um, and then, you know, the first three or four years might be great. And then the cracks in the armor appear and then she starts all over again. And now here she is in her 40s and you are her latest victim. Um, so no, this is big. This is, if she's the really the, like daddy's girl in this <laughs> to the degree that you pointed out, um, this is worse than any of those things uh, that you have, that the other things, like she's independent financially uh, on her own, you know. None of those things matter as far as a relationship goes. You can have two fucking poor people, but if they're in love and they, they stick with it and they, you know, they, do, they don't look for the outlet, um, you know, the outdoor, I mean, the exit, um, and they're, you know, they're going to stick with it. People have been staying together in relationships before we had fucking electricity, dude. None of the shit matters. <laughs> Emotional maturity is all that really matters here. But um, I know so many guys are like, they're having to just look for these other things, partly because they're, un they're ignorant and immature and they think these other things matter a lot more than they do. Um, but secondly, because uh, they're immature themselves. And, but thirdly, because uh, they still don't respect psychology yet. So, um, yeah, the, no, the, the, if she's a daddy's girl, uh, like really daddy's girl where she's unconsciously comparing all of the men she's with to her treatment of her dad, which is super common, just as, you know, this, the same scenario for men and their mothers, um, then yeah, she's, she's already done for. So unless she gets some major counseling or, or has a major breakthrough, I think at 40 years old, she should be, you should, like the therapist should be able to point at the patterns that have been going on for the 20 years up to this point and and just show her that. I'm, hopefully she's rational. Uh, so there you go. Uh, yeah, it matters. It matters a big time. All of the psychology stuff matters way more than all the finance, financial shit that you're bringing up. Um, so anyway, point is, yeah, the psychology stuff matters more than all of the other things you're bringing up. If she's a daddy's girl, um, she's going to be ruined on relationships um, at, by, you know, within a few years of that relationship. So there you go. That's a really, really important thing. Join the Man Up Fa Private Facebook group. Get more education. Uh, interact with the other guys in there. They're asking really great questions. There are also some really great answers from some of the more, more mature, experienced guys in there. So I'll see you inside the private Facebook group. Click the link. Join the group. See you inside the group. Until then, man up. Ha <laughs> ha